Hello everyone, Andy Raphael from eTechnics.com and I'm sick of keep saying that because this is the upteenth million video that I've done today uh, purely because we've got a lot of new products in so AMD Radeon 7000 series is today and 7750, 7770, they've both been released and we've got uh, an absolute abundance of cards here we've got AMD reference cards, cards from HIS, cards from Sapphire and we're just trying to sort of trawl through absolutely everything now, what we're going to be doing today is a little bit different. We don't normally do this in videos, but we're going to be showing you Crossfire. Now, the 7770 is uh, a pretty competitively priced card. We won't mention what the price is now because it, at the time of filming this, there is no concrete pricing. We've been given US pricing, but um, for us in the UK, we don't know how true that is. And obviously, shops can put their own markup on it and decide what price they want to sort of retail with. So we won't mention that, but we can tell you the 7770 and the 7750 are both competitively priced. Now, for people on a budget, um, they may end up buying one card and then want to get that extra performance at a later date, so they will be buying another card. And that's great on the 7700 series because the 7770, um, on its own, is, is a good card. It's a fantastic sort of price per performance. And if you do want that extra performance, then you can just buy another card at a later date, whack on a Crossfire adapter, and sort of off you go. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take you off the tripod, take you over to where the test system is so you can see the AMD reference card and the Sapphire HD7770 overclocked edition. But obviously it's running at stock 1 gigahertz speeds um, because it will always run at the lowest card speed, which is the reference card. And I'm going to show you exactly what's going on over there, show you um, one of the benchmarks, probably in iFinity, and then we'll get you all of the results together and um, sort of you know, snip it straight into the end of this video. So uh, let's get you over there, you can have a look at the uh, test rig, see what we're doing today and uh, we'll take it from there. So guys, um, what we've got here is our Asus Maximus 4 Z68 um, Extreme Z motherboard running an Intel Core i7-2700K under the Corsair H80. Uh, we've got 16 gig of Corsair Vengeance 1866 MHz memory and as you can see we've got two graphics cards in here. So we've got the AMD reference HD7770, then we've got the Sapphire HD7770 um, overclocked edition. So as you can see, um, both fans are spinning currently, and um, we've got the Crossfire Bridge over here, Republic of Gamers Crossfire Bridge, and they've both got a 6-pin PCI Express power connector there. And we have run tests on both these cards singly, um, and we're actually going to be testing uh, at Wifinity um, resolution. So with this particular card we managed to get 22 frames a second and with this one we got 24 frames a second um, so obviously it shows that the overclock has got that little bit extra um, performance and what we're actually going to be running now is both these cards together and uh, see how it scales in um, we've just picked a benchmark at random and this one we've actually picked is Formula 1 2011 and uh, yeah, we're just really going to see if we can get some decent scaling with both these cards in together. I mean, typically, if we're looking at 22 frames, 24 frames, then we should be looking at, you know, scaling that would be perfect would be the two scores added together. But that's only in a perfect world. So here we are, Formula 1 2011 in iFinity across three 27-inch AOC monitors. And uh, we're going to see exactly how it performs. So as I said, with these two cards, we've got 22 frames um, in one of them at this resolution and 24 frames with the other. So theoretically, we should be getting 46 frames um, if we had you know, 100% you know, scaling, uh, if the scaling really was uh, working to that full capacity. But that's only in a perfect world. It generally doesn't happen like that. Um, so we may be sacrificed in certain areas. But as you can see, um, it does look really, really good. It looks quite fluid um, for sort of you know low end cards. Um, there's still quite a lot of detail in the game, so uh, it'll be interesting to see what sort of results we get with this. Now, for anyone out there who hasn't played this game, um, would seriously recommend downloading it from Steam because it is a fantastic game, and every so often you will find offers on this particular game. 
Uh, it's made by Codemasters, who are obviously famous for um, Dirt 2, Dirt 3, and all the Colin McRae um, stuff as well. And they've really done a good job with this as well. And there we go, so average frames per second is actually better than we thought. 53, minimum frames was 43. So uh, some really, really good results there. Um, actually quite shocked by that. So 53 frames per second in iFinity whilst running two sort of budget cards, budget to mainstream cards in crossfire mode. Fantastic results there and uh, we get that put into uh, our normal charts and uh, snip them all into the end of this video so if you want to see the rest of these benchmarks keep watching this video and we'll get it out for you now